hey guys and welcome to my channel in this video I will show you how to make a live streaming camera for five dollars so let's take so let's take a look at the materials we will use ESP32 cam with OV2640 module jump wire FTDI USB to TTL model Before starting, let's make a quick review on the chip The dimension of the chip is 5 cm, 3 cm approximately So it's really small it has an SD card slot here so you can make recording if you want here it has a camera slot here so you can remove it like this and then you can put it again and stock it here it has 16 pins for data and electricity it may work on 5 volt or 3 volt and it's low energy consumer it has a flashlight just here it has bluetooth and wi-fi the antenna of the wi-fi is here as you can see and if you want to increase the Wi-Fi signal you can add an antenna here on this plug I really recommend this chip because it's cheap easy to use and uh, it works with home assistant too so let's wire the ESP32 cam to the FTDI we will start uh, with uh, connecting the ground to the ground 5 volt to VCC U0R to TX on FTDI U0T to RX on FTDI and the GPI0 on ground the most important tool is to wire the 100 pin the 100 to the ground as you see like this uh, to flash the ESP32 after wiring ESP32 to the FTDI we will flash it using ESP Home if you are not familiar with ESP Home I would recommend you to see the article on my blog or my video on YouTube to see how to run ESP Home on your computer and how to flash the ESP32 cam let's start by creating the camera configuration file at the camera.yaml in this file we should add the basic ESP Home uh, configuration the name, the platform, the board ESP32 dev because it's a generic uh, chip the Wi-Fi configuration the SSID and the password enable logging I enabled also the API for home assistant I added a web server with the port 80 I enabled OTA so it's uh, update over the air Uh, the time to synchronize the time with home assistant and here it goes ESP32 configuration in addition I have added a button to toggle the flashlight on ESP32 cam the flash is on GPIO 4 so let's go on ESP home web page click on validate to be sure that 
the, um, the configuration is correct then choose USB and then click on upload ESP Home is now compiling the, the firmware and now it's uploading it as you can see it's writing it on the chip so now the upload is correct you should remove the wires from esp32 on the 100 pin u0r and u0t and leave only the vcc and the ground pin so after flashing the esp32 you should remove the wires from u0t U0R pin and the 100 which connects to the ground pin. After that, you should see that the camera here is green, which means that the camera is connected to the internet and it's working well. After that, you go to Home Assistant to Configuration, Integrations. And here you search for ESP Home and here you add the IP address of your camera so oh, camera.local for me and he detects that it's expressive ESP32 now go to devices or camera click on add to Lovelace And if you go to overview, you can see the camera. And here it is.